வணக்கம் நவ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு டேக் அனித வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் டாபிக் செகண்ட் ஆஸ் அன் ஆடிட்டர் வி ஹாவ் டு கிவ் அ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் சர்டிஃபிகேட் இன் திஸ் ஜூரிங் அவர் ஸ்டாச்சுரி பிரான்ச் ஆடிட் ஸோ பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு சர்டிஃபை த சர்டிஃபிகேட் வி ஷுட் நோ த பேசிக் திங் that is there in that uh, circular i am just going to highlight the importance of that circular that is interest subvention or subsidy for education loans because most of the education loans are uh, when you look into the books most of the education loans have not been repaid in time and most of the education loans would have become npa but government is encouraging the students to go and study with the help of the banks the bank loans but they are also helping in the form of giving subsidy or interest subvention to the interest that is due to the education loans normally education loan interest should be charged on simple interest basis and not on compound interest basis so with this i am going to start the highlights government of india through ministry of human resources development department of higher education new delhi has launched a scheme under the name central scheme to provide interest subsidy that is cisis this scheme is used for all education loans sanctioned under iba that is indian bankers association and availed by students from economically weaker section to pursue technical and professional courses india now i at, at this juncture i want to highlight the education loan sanctioned under iba see normally in iba if any education loan is being sanctioned the iba uh, set a condition that the loan has to be paid along with the interest after the completion of the course plus one year so that is why uh, uh, whenever you are doing the audit you have to go and refer the sanction letter if in the sanction letter it is stated that interest has to be paid then and there then it is presumed that that loan is not sanctioned under iba guidelines so this is the basic thing the loans due date is shifted to the final that is duration of the course say if it is be if it is 4 years plus 1 year holiday moratorium period so that is the thing you have to see so any education loan sanctioned under iba only is entitled for the interest submission then this scheme is in force since 2009-20 and with little changes uh, now even now this scheme is available so the students they should know this and if you are an advisor to the to our clients when the, they are if they have valid education loan you can say this to them also then interest subsidy is available during the moratorium period of education the main objective is government as government of india has approved a scheme to provide full interest subsidy during the period of moratorium that is course period plus one year or six months after getting the job whichever is earlier that is called moratorium period this subsidy eligibility is for educational loans available by students from economically weaker section covered under education loans of iba scheme so now next to the use the word is economically weaker section that is the parents income both club together should not exceed 4.5 lakhs per annum so the, those uh, the, the parents income is 4.5 lakhs then those students that is their parents uh, income is 4.5 lakhs then those students are coming under the category economically weaker section this is available for the approved courses it is not available for all courses it is available for the approved courses in technical and professional courses from recognized institution in india so it is available for technical and professional courses and that too from recognized institutions in india so it is not available for the foreign institutions so it is applicable only for the technical courses recognized in india and professional courses recognized in india the interest subsidy shall be linked with the existing educational loan scheme it is restricted to students enrolled in recognized technical or professional courses after class i mean after class 
that is direct entry without shedding class 12 it is not available in india in education institutions established by the acts of the parliament other institutions recognized by the concerned statutory bodies indian institute of management that is iim and other institutions set up by both central and state government only for these units uh, for these institutions this scheme is applicable that is interest subvention scheme is applicable then the interest rate if you want to see the interest rate you have to see the sanction letter otherwise bplr or base rate or M mclr or the rate varies according to the individual banks so anything you have to refer the sanction letter then the rbi has clearly said what is uh, moratorium period it is a course period suppose it be four years four years for uh, mbbs it is five years means five years plus one year that is after the completion of the course plus one year or six months after getting the job whichever is earlier so after the moratorium it shall be paid after the moratorium it shall be paid by the student in accordance with the that is interest has to be paid in accordance with the provisions of the existing education loans and may be as as may be amended from time to time so only for the moratorium period this interest subvention is available to the economically weaker section of students who are studying in india from the approved university then what is the income limit that is another condition you have to see see it is available this scheme is available to all those students belonging to EWS, that is economically weaker section. Annual gross income of parent or family. Suppose uh, if father is there, I mean, uh, one mother is not there, then the family they are saying. Annual gross income, gross parental or family income, upper limit all put together of rupees 4.5 lakhs per year from all sources not only from salary not only from business all sources if they have got deposit interest that also will be added it, they said it's only gross income it is not net income so loan sanction without collateral security and third party guarantee and for a maximum amount of rupees 7.5 less for this is the condition against which if any collateral security is given then uh, this scheme is uh, not applicable the scheme is intended to cater to the needs of the students belonging to economically weaker section with a prescribed upper and upper parental gross income limit of the family from all sources which is based on economic index and not on social background the scheme is independent of other schemes that is we you need not compare to other schemes it is an independent of any other scheme which cater to the economically weaker section then who is the competent authority to design this interest subvention this is the Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India, shall issue advisory to all the state governments requesting them to designate the appropriate authority or authorities because they have to issue the income certificate. Who are competent to issue income certificate based on the economic index and not on social background for this purpose. So it has instructed state government to fix a person, fix an authority who, has, who is competent to income certificate. In Tamil Nadu, it is the revenue tasuda and or more, more than that category. Anyone can give you certificate. So in that manner, uh, this uh, income certificate uh, fixation is being uh, given. I mean, it's being uh, arrived at on the instruction of the Ministry of Human Resource Development. At this juncture, I want to say what is economic index? It's an index. This index is a statistical measure of change in representative group of individual data points. These data may be derived from any number of sources, including company performance, prices, stability, I mean prices, productivity, and employment. The based on this index is arrived. The bank shall implement the scheme based on the notification of the certification authority by state governments communicated through district level consultative committees. Based on that, only this interest subvention is being arrived and is being passed on to the EWS, that is economic the economically weaker section students then what is how what is the basic eligibility to claim this uh, interest subsidy interest subsidy is available only once either for the first undergraduation degree or the post graduation degree or diploma in india
so it is available only once and not uh, repeated times every year if once if it is arrived at, then okay if it is arrived if it is availed for the under graduation then for post graduation it is not applicable inter subsidy shall be ad admissible for integrated courses also that is graduate plus post graduate also if, if it is combined then then there also it is available if students discontinue in the middle of the course or who are expelled from the institutions on disciplinary or academic grounds then they are not eligible to get this interest subsidy interest subvention so if they are discontinued without any reasons in the middle then they are not eligible to get this interest subvention and they are expelled from the institution due to disciplinary or academic uh, grounds then they are also not eligible <coughs> to get this interest subsidy or subvention this interest subsidy or interest subvention will be available only if the discontinuation was due to medical grounds so government is giving a choice if the education is uh, being discontinued due to medical grounds and for which necessary documentation to the satisfaction of the head of the education institutions will have to be given suppose if the head of the institution say that their student has uh, discontinued due to medical reason then this interest subvention is eligible to be claimed by that student and for this every uh, scheme there will be a nodal bank for this implementation of the scheme the government has fixed canara bank is the nodal bank so suppose uh, in case the students have availed from all other bank, all other banks other than canara bank then they have to apply through that bank then that bank they will forward the application to canara bank so he is here is a very very uh, technical word i noticed the students can apply it is not the bank they are applying so the it's a request even to the members kindly advise uh, those students who are awaiting the educational loans to claim this interest subvention that they have to apply to the concerned bank then then only that concerned bank they will apply they will forward that application to the uh, canara bank which is a nodal bank so if the student has not applied then he is not eligible this is the thing i noticed from this circular so kindly inspect the student suppose if the bank is claiming this inter subvention then as an auditor you have to verify whether the student has given a requested letter to the bank to the branch to claim this inter subvention as an auditor you have to see that letter uh, then only you have to proceed then it is applicable for the academic year the academic year starts from 1st april every year but there's this academic year you have to refer the bank circular based on that you can continue the audit the academic year is 1st april then what are the list of technical and uh, <coughs> professional courses courses that is students enrolled in recognized technical or professional courses after class 12 class 12 in india in education institutions established by the acts of parliament or other institutions recognized by ugc or aict and other statutory bodies indian institute of management and other institutions set up by central and state government this is a thing this is a list of uh, technical and professional courses now what are the uh, courses that is eligible that is specifically they are saying undergraduate courses and post graduate courses in engineering that is be yummy btech yantech br mr then medical or paramedical that is mbbs md bsc msc nursing b pharmacy m pharmacy bpt mpt boi moi siddha ayurveda homeopathy naturopathy then apart from that for agriculture courses veterinary law law dental that is bds and mds then management courses computer that is master of computer application mca apart from that post graduate diploma courses duly approved by aict and ugc are conducted by recognized institutions these are the courses specifically are eligible to be claimed uh, inter claimed under interest subvention or interest subsidy and in educational loans 
from by economically weaker section people so these are the process recognized so these are all they they define these are the technical and professional courses what are the non eligible courses you we must know because the bank should not uh, include this list in our certificate that is for studies abroad so only studies in india it is allowed for any foreign studies this this inter subvention is not applicable then courses persuaded without completing class 12 that means as an auditor you have to see whether class 12 certificate is available to the student non professional and non technical undergraduate and post graduate in arts science commerce sociology and music apart from that diploma courses are not eligible teacher training courses are not eligible skill development courses are not eligible vocational training courses are not eligible to claim interest subvention under educational loans these are the non eligible courses as an auditor you have to see whether the bankers they have included these courses in the list uh, to get our certificate then who is monitoring it an interest subsidy and credit guarantee dashboard would be set up by the nodal bank that is canara bank for the scheme with the real time data from banks on geographical socio economic gender institutions accreditation grade of the institution category and uh, course wise distribution of loan applications sanctions subsidy released and adjusted loan repayments nps etc so for this these are being monitored by the canara bank that is which is a nodal bank this dashboard will ensure effective monitoring and enable the ministry to measure the outcome of this okay apart from that there is one interest concession that's been offered under education loan for the prompt repayment even before the course that is uh, under ibs scheme one percent interest concession is provided for the loanee this is apart from interest subvention one percent concession interest concession is provided for the loanees if the interest is serviced during the period when the repayment holiday is specified for the interest or repayment at a scheme that is before the duration before the course that is during the course if the interest is being paid along with the regular interest minus one percent will be charged this one percent interest concession will be extended under the central scheme of interest subsidy provided the government of india disperses interest subsidy claims to the banks on half yearly basis or yearly basis this is this has to be seen you as an auditor you can see this from the sanction letter then uh, this scheme is available to all the banks except rrb that is the thing for initially they said so how they this rrb that is regional rural banks how they have to claim they can directly even rrbs are also allowed to give education loans for the students that is the, uh, so they have to claim the Uh, this interest subsidy that is in uh, interest subvention so they can directly submit their application to the nodal bank that is canara bank and not through some other bank because rrbs are, have been formed with the sponsor by some nationalized banks then as an auditor this is the auditor role as is this statutory audit of the <coughs> accounts coinciding with the annual statutory audit of the bank it has to be conducted every year as an auditor you have to verify all the details stated in the uh enclosures and based on the enclosures you have to give the certificate so you verify the certificate based on the explanation given in this uh, presentation but at this juncture i once again request you to verify the latest circular issued by rbi in this regard then only you have to do the audit uh, this is with reference to the interest subvention or interest subsidy on educational loans because most of the banks <clears throat> they are, they have they are applying for this benefit but this has to be initiated only after the application is made by the student so as a chartered accountant even who is in practice you can also recommend this to your uh, clients and uh, for the welfare of the student they can approach the bank to claim the interest subsidy because government is uh, giving this that is for the moratorium period for the entire post period interest is being borne interest is being borne by the uh, government plus one year extended this this is with the all six months uh, after getting the job whichever is earlier so this is a thing you you have to understand the modus operandi of claiming interest subvention in educational loans 
I am. Uh, I think I hope I have explained uh, in detail. This is a knowledge based uh, video presentation in bank audit. This is uh, will be useful to all of our charter opponents and students. And uh, even uh, this this video will be uh, useful even for the students who are uh, getting educational loans. With this, I am concluding this part of uh, my video presentation. And thanks for watching this program patiently. Nandri Manakam.